Celtics and Heat, man. The uh, the Heat won their last playing game, and their award is getting to play the number one seed Celtics in Boston. So, uh, good luck, Miami, man. And the 64 wins the fourth most in franchise history, and that's saying a lot in the story franchise. In all seriousness, though, I think Miami is the one team that Boston probably would not want to face as an eighth seed. Um, oh my goodness. Because Miami is a team that can win the series, man. Or at least give you a lot of issues. And scare you. <laughs> oh my good god, Jalen Brown. Yeah, you better help. Bro, it's 7 nothing. damn. Bro, my goodness. Boom. <laughs> They put five of their first six over there for Miami. Boston's hot, man. Bro, look at, the, look at that shit. Bro's giving him a hug, and he's just sitting here shooting a jump shot. Y'all gotta score the ball, man. Bam. Bam. Jesus. Jesus, Louise, man. Three and a half minutes into the game, it's 17 to 8. Or, well, it wasn't. But... Oh, good take. Oh, my goodness. <clears throat> Boom. Okay. Bro. He's just so nice with it, man. Hero. One of the great three-point shooting teams in NBA history. One of the great offensive performances in a regular season in NBA history. From the freaking TD Garden logo. Bro, Miami's down by seven. It feels like they're down by 17. Down by three. In this series, but at least right now for today, they really feel they're going to win this game. They feel they can win this game. Well, I would hope so. I would hope they feel they can win the game. Oh my goodness. Good okay, K Love. It's because of what Doris said to start this broadcast. They muck things up. They force you to be comfortable. Bro, Boston. And that was pretty comfortable, though, for Sam Hauser. They have so many players that can hurt you, man. Robinson's been dealing with a back injury. Good pass. There he is again. Boom. Sam Hauser off the bench. Three three-pointers in five minutes. And the Heat need a timeout. It's also the decision making for Jason Tatum. Both him and Jalen Brown. I think that's the biggest level of improvement for those guys. Bro. Oh Is damn. Passing, playmaking, getting off the ball. Pritchard. Pritchard with another offensive rebound. No whistle. I mean, no Boston just obviously looks better at the moment. The tries again. Jesus Christ. Four three pointers here on the second. Is incredible, JJ. Who, of all the guys you played with, who's the one that had that biggest difference on court or off court? Oh, that's easy. The 16-point lead. Luca is constantly playing, and out of bio with a rebound. Damn, out of bio, jump shot, soft touch. You gotta start doing something, Miami. My goodness. In the regular season, he could be unanimous MVP. If it's gotta be Bam out of bio every time, it's gotta be Bam out of bio, man. But you gotta do something. Stolen by Tatum. That ain't something that you gotta be doing. Tatum goes inside, goes at Hawkins, lays it up and in. Yeah, it looked like goaltending for a minute. Pritchard, the four Zingas. Bro, oh my god. He d it doesn't matter how good of a closeout you have, he just shoots over top of you. 
going to him. I mean, dude, you can't do that. You have got to stay with him. If you can't beat him, hurt him. White taking as much time off the clock. Shot clock at five. There you go, Hawkes. You stayed with Porzingis that time. It don't matter, though. Like I said, they got so many players that can hurt you. Traylon Brown. He said is the key to that. Hawkes knocks it down. Chris Quinn played in the league, played with Miami. One of the terrific assistants in the NBA. Oh, damn, bro, it's hustling. God, Lee, calm down, bro. My goodness. All right. Tatum finds Porzingis. Oh, my God. Tatum down a lane. Scoop layup. Beautiful ball movement once again from the Celtics. Dude, Boston. Oh my goodness. They probably have about nine or ten players that can really hurt you, man. Like, it's not even... Traylon Brown again. Okay, I mean, okay. Just want to sauce him up a little bit. He didn't want to take no easy shit. He wanted to sauce him up. Horford. He, there is Al Horford now. Horford, Hauser, Porzingis, Brown, Pritchard. Tatum. White. <laughs> it's ridiculous, man. Jalen Brown. Everything, but oh my god, they're up by damn near 30. Well, can I just make a point about Jovic? Like, he's fought all night on the defensive end. He's made some nice things happen defensively. <laughs> <laughs> That's another three. This one from White. They played two games this week, two playing games. Put in the bench warmers. Celtics haven't played since last Sunday. Put in the water, boy. Put in some fans. There's a little kid right there on the front row, too. Might as well put him in as well. He'll be fine. Bro. This is overkill at this point. Duncan Robinson, where you been, man? And you're competing for something. He had a terrific year in Washington last year. So, you know what? They don't get any extra points for beating us by 30. It's the same thing as if they beat us by two or three. Oh, uh, well, it's the mental part of it, too. If you get beat by 30, you're like, well, damn, we just got our asses beat. Three pointers. <clears throat> points. As he said before the game, we waited a long time to get back into playoff basketball. And right from the get go, he came out strong. Jump shots good. Came up short against the Warriors. Delon Wright gets in. Tyler Hero. Boston's got to be the favorites to win it all, right? So Heroes. I have not looked at the odds. I know nothing about them. Stable career. I was traded twice, but it was at the end of the season, so it was only in a couple places, a couple months. Look, look, he's gonna shoot the ball. Look, I don't give a damn. If I don't, he don't give a damn about your defense, man. My God. It was very physical defense by Adebayo, but he don't give a shit. Okay, down by 15. Bro, don't tell me I've been talking all this shit and you're gonna come back. Not that I've been talking shit, but I've been hyping up Boston a lot. Always willing to help a young broadcaster. So final minute. Yeah. Hawkes stolen by Tatum. Crowd a few more things. There was another three-point barrage. Six players and double figures. Six players and double figures for Boston, man. Um. Yeah. That was a beatdown. I uh. I don't think this uh. This is well. Not that I think. I know this does not change 
my thoughts of Miami making this a competitive series. I think Miami can take two um, in this series, and, you know, I think Boston is going to ultimately win it um, in, like, game six or something like that. I don't think it'll get a seven, but I'll give... I'll say Miami gets two and Boston wins in six, but... Man, if I didn't know any better, <laughs> um, I'd pick Boston to sweep after watching this.